How's it going everybody and welcome to another Skyrim video. Now as always before we get into this I'll ask that you hit like if you enjoy or find this video in any way helpful. And of course if you want more content like this then think about subscribing. Now let's get into it. So this is going to be my combat overhaul mods for Skyrim in 2020. These are going to be mods that I need to fix the vanilla game because the vanilla game is horrendous. Everyone knows this, I don't need to make a whole video on it. We know, vanilla combat is underwhelming. The first main problem is the perks, so our skill trees. As you can see this is vanilla, so this is normal Skyrim. We have between 8 and 10 perks on each tree. Which aren't a lot, but it's not that, it's just that we have a very limited amount of perks, it's also the fact that none of them are unique. And the ones that are considered unique, you will very rarely notice. And that's a problem. Because that hinders progression, makes leveling kind of pointless, and makes perks pointless. The next thing we need to talk about is animations. Especially dual wielding animations. So you see this stance. This is how it is in the game. This is your holding stance. It looks cool at first, but it's not. It's aggravating and it doesn't go away. You stay like that forever. It's not lore friendly and it's not immersive. The next thing is when you double attack in vanilla Skyrim, you cannot move. As you can see, if I try, this isn't a power attack by the way, you can see the stamina bar. This is normal attack. You cannot move forward, backwards, sideways. You cannot do anything. All you can do is single attack, even though you have two weapons, which defeats the purpose of having two weapons if you can only double attack while standing still. For the power attack, we only have this animation where we just twirl in a circle. Again, pointless. Now observe, here we are. Vanilla Skyrim. We have a battle. And this is the problem. Yes, there's ways of me killing all these ads. But for the point of the video, I'm showing that there is no... There's no way of getting away from it. All I can do is swing and pop potions. Swing, pop potions. I can't dodge, I can't roll, I can't parry. I can't sidestep, I can't do anything. Which is obviously a big problem. So now we've brought in some mods. First one is Ordinator. As you can see, we have a lot of perks. And all the perks are detailed. They're all unique. They all add different things to the game. Different things to combat, which make Skyrim better. Even simple things like fall damage. It's, it's the fact that every perk serves a purpose. So there you can see tired enemies have a harder time defeating your armor. Everything is different. I'm not going to go through all the perks because there's literally anywhere from 15 to 20 perks per tree. Un instead of the normal 8 to 10 perks. How does this affect combat? Because as you can see these are combat perks. They're special perks. They introduce stagger to the game. They introduce slowness to the game. They introduce stamina exertion to the game. Um, they put an emphasis on your playstyle, so if you're a two-handed player, it makes you play to your two-handed. Like, for instance, if I have 100 and two-handed, and I have all the perks on normal vanilla, if I just get the first two or three perks on one-handed, it's all the same. So here's a basic layout of our mods. Our first big one is our combat gameplay overhaul. CGO. So as you can see when we go into our mod configuration we have different grips. So if we have a two handed weapon we can choose whether we want to swing that two handed weapon with both hands or with one hand. This also means that you can dual wield any weapon. So you could have a grey sword in one hand and a dagger in the other. Or you could have two shields or you could have anything like you could have a a two-handed battle axe but only be holding in one hand and have a normal war axe in the other hand. Again this adds variety to the game, gives different play styles to the game and you can also change the damage output, the speed change, um, you can give yourself different perks, uh, you can also roll which is really helpful because it means you can get in and out of battles, you can prolong fights longer, you can take on more enemies at once. The 360 combat thing is it is very buggy and 
it's fine if you just have this one mod, but if you have multiple races and multiple NPC mods, this can get really buggy the 360 combat, so I I I don't I don't use it. Um you can also block dual wheel and block and you can't do that in a normal game. You cannot block if you have two weapons in your hand. This enables you to be able to block and parry while also being able to dodge. Next thing we have is in, is enhanced blood. Obviously, we have our ordinator perks. Ordinator perks. We've already gone through them. You can just see here these are some patches and some other stuff that you can disable or enable in the game. Here this war. So that violence. This is going to be our our kill mod for multiple reasons. One, it's really big. Two, it implements different types of camera views while the kill move is playing so if you know during the game like if you get a critical hit at the end you will go into like a cinematic type of kill move this makes that better it makes it clearer makes it better that's the best way of describing it you can change every setting in it you can change what your percentage chance is for decapitations you can enable or disenable mace decapitations you can make yourself immune to kill moves from NPCs you can the list goes on like you can see here on your screen there's a there's an endless amount with violence there's a there's a big big selection um of options that we can do within within the game so it's more than just kill moves it's the fact that we can pick and it introduces more mechanics to the game as well which is great I'm just going to leave that on magic. So these, the way I'm laying this out here is, one, I want to make sure a dragon kill move is always on. I hate when I kill a dragon and at the end sometimes there's just some random arrow comes out nowhere and kills it. I like to get the cinematic at the end of killing a dragon, even though I've been playing the game for almost 10 years now. I still like it. This is great if you're a stealth character. You can change how you assassinate enemies. And I mean like you can break their neck. You can put them in a sleeper hold. Choke them out. You can obviously do the normal vanilla throw slip. Um, there's another one as well. Throw slip. Break. No, they're the yeah, they're the ones. Yeah, so you can slip, break their neck, or put them in a sleeper hold. Again, it just adds variety to the game. I like to pick all three. So that whenever I'm assassinating anyone, if I am doing like a... A stealth build or, or a Dark Brotherhood build. It just makes it different every time. Instead of just every single time going up with a dagger and get like you know under slicing someone from behind it, it it gets very blah. Uh you can also your trigger so your left attacks mean that you can also enable kill mills with your weapon if it's in your left hand as well. Based on vanilla you actually can't do that, so this fixes that. And then once you're done doing all this, you can save a profile. So you can make different profiles. So I'll just save this one. Um, I'll save it as modded 2020 or whatever. Um, yeah, so you can have different profiles and you can load different profiles. So it means you could do a violent build for stealth assassination type. Then you could do one for like full on Viking warrior two handed. So it just give, again just gives more options. One of our main combat mods will be Wildcat. Wildcat is great. It changes the player AI and the MP, uh, the NPC AI. They make NPCs more engaging instead of them just standing there doing the same one-handed straight down attack that they do consistently. Um, you can also make the game harder. So you can make it that, as you can see on your screen, like you can disable certain things, you can enable things, you can activate full body stagger. Um, so the full body stagger is literally if you get staggered you'll be stunned the same way you can stun an NPC and again it just adds to the immersion and makes combat more realistic so to speak obviously that can be taken with a, a lot of salt like realistic but you get what I mean like it's, it's a lot better than vanilla where you just seem to like I get hit with a warhammer full force to the head and I just, I don't even, my character doesn't even move in vanilla. It makes no sense. You can also allow, allow Wildcat to manage the level difficulty of enemies. So this is, them, them variations are standard to the game. But you could make it a lot harder on yourself. So on Legendary, you do 
damage and you take 3.5 damage you could make it that you only do 0.25 damage and you take 0.5 damage or you take sorry 5.0 damage if you're really brave i've tried it it's, it's not a fun experience but again like it it gives you them options that you don't get in the game and there's very minimal script added as well surprisingly to have all these options but they are our main mods so the best way we're going to do this is we're just going to jump towards them um, <clears throat> sorry i just need to change the sound here because like make sure you always change your weapon settings if you're using immersive um sounds because um because yeah the weapons are unbelievably loud with these weapon mods so the difference here is straight away you can see i can get away and i can move constantly while swinging both weapons I'm low on health, I can pop up using Sky UI, pop potions, and I can get away. You've seen I got staggered there, so I couldn't move, but I was able to get away. I was able to roll underneath the Warhammer attack. Again, it just adds more variety to the game. It makes the combat more engaging, and that's the whole idea, is to make this combat more engaging, because one of the main flaws in Skyrim is its combat. And having mods like Wildcat, Violins, and obviously the Combat Overhaul mod, Pair that with Sky UI so that we have the quick menu and you can see in the right hand corner of our screen it's shown us like what damage we're taking, if we're poisoned, if we're not poisoned, how much damage we're taking. See on the top left hand corner Thunder and Blow is ready. It, it tells you when perks are ready. Also look how I stand. I'm not, a, I'm not standing like a weird ninja anymore. I'm just standing like a normal Viking warrior. I also have a grey sword in my hand here and an axe. It's great. So... That's basically going to be the end of the video. I'm going to put a screen capture here listing all of the mods in the video so you can see them all. And you'll know what ones to get. Obviously they all came from Nexus. That's where all my mods come from. If you like this video, hit like. If you dislike this video, hit dislike. And if you want more content like this, be sure to subscribe as I upload almost every day. Again, thanks for watching. Enjoy your day and stay safe.